Hello everyone, this is Jack. In this video, I'm going to cover five tips to grow lots of okra. Now look at this okra plant. It's huge and it's producing lots of okra for us. And we have about eight plants and we are picking about four to five pounds of okra every other day. So let's get started on those tips. Tip number one, starting your okra seeds. Now okra seeds might take a little bit longer to germinate, so you have to be patient. Okra seeds can take anywhere from four to 12 days to germinate. Now okra does not like transplanting. So if you're starting okra indoors in early spring, make sure you use large pots to grow okra seedlings so that you can transplant those seedlings without disturbing the roots. Because if you disturb roots even just a little bit, okra seedlings will not do well. To start okra from seed, select the best seed from bigger okra plants. Add okra seeds to the tray. Okra is a summer crop. If you're growing okra from seed, it is best to start okra from seeds two to three weeks before the last frost. Cover the seeds with half inch of soil and then water the seeds. Okra seeds like temperature above 60 degrees Fahrenheit to germinate well. So if it's too cold in your area, use heat mats under the trays to germinate okra seeds. Okra seeds don't stay in trays for too long, so it is advised to best start the okra seeds just two to three weeks before the last frost. Transplant the okra seedlings outside after the danger of all the frost has passed away. So wait until at least two weeks after the last frost day to transplant the okra seedlings outside. You can also directly sow okra seeds outside in the garden as well, and that is done at least two weeks after the last frost as well. Now you can always drag seed okra into the ground as well. Just make sure that the evening temperature is above 60 degrees Fahrenheit because okra loves warm weather. The plant spacing should be two feet apart and row spacing should be at least three to four feet apart because okra plants can grow huge. Look at the one behind me. This one is six feet tall and three feet wide. That's how big they can grow. Tip number two. Choose a location that receives full sun. Okra loves full sun. So if you choose a location that receives 12 to 16 hours of daylight in summer, okra plants will do really well. Okra loves hot weather. So you can always grow okra in parts of the world that receives a lot of heat. You can always grow okra in places like Arizona and Texas as well. And these okra plants will do great in those regions. Tip number three, fertilization. Okra loves organic matter like many other plants too, but okra in particular loves manure. So if you add cow manure, horse manure, or chicken manure into your soil before planting okra plants, okra will do much better. Tip number four, watering. Now okra loves water. Okra can occasionally withstand a dry spell. However, in order to get lots of vegetables from okra plants, you should keep the soil moist at all times. If you let the soil dry out for just about a day, that's not gonna hurt the plant. However, if the temperature becomes above 100 degree Fahrenheit, you should be watering okra plants every single day. And okra loves heat, like I mentioned before. So above 100 degree Fahrenheit, okra will produce lots of flowers and lots of okra. It will get loaded. This is one of the plants that does really well in this heat. But you always have to keep the soil moist and provide water every single day and you'll get lots of okra. Look who came to say hello. It's Lily. <laughs> She's always running around in the garden and she loves being here. Come on Lily, go pick some weeds. So, as I mentioned before, okra loves water. Now, how much you water should you should be adding to your okra plants or any other plants depends on many other factors. So, I made a separate video on how often you should be watering your your plants and it depends on what kind of soil you have, what kind of temperature you have at the region you are. So there are multiple factors, but general rule of thumb with okra, you always want to keep the soil moist. Tip number five, picking okra. Now, there is an art to picking okra because if you let okra grow just for about a day or two, it will become really woody and it's really hard to eat. So you always want to pick okra when okra is tender. Let me show you. So here's a good example. So this okra, you know, is actually past ripening, ripening age, past its prime. So it's become very woody. 
this one has not reached its prime so it's a little bit younger but you can always pick it this size this is too young to pick so you can start picking when okra is about two and a half inches eight inches long like this one so here's a really good one so let's harvest this oh here this okra has passed its prime as well so we've been really busy and you know we let some of this okra go because we haven't had time to come and pick however you can always let this go to seed but as the summer is going on you want to just snip it out you don't want to let you don't want to let the plant produce a lot of seed okra because it might hamper the production so this is a really good one right here this is about three and a half inches long and this is a really nice okra these are too young and you can see some of the flowers that are that are budding here and this one is just about ready to open so this okra will be ready to pick just in about a day or two this will be ready to pick in about four to five days well look at this new okra forming the new buds coming in and there's a little okra on this stem as well okra flowers are really pretty and bees love okra flowers too and so do the ants now regarding pest management okra doesn't really attract very many pests but there's one pest that loves okra and that's aphids and ants farm aphids so you'll see lots of ants sometimes going up the stalks of your okra plants going to the flowers or attacking okra itself and there'll be a cluster of aphid on okra as well so all you need to do is mix one tablespoon of neem oil and one tablespoon of pure castle soap into one gallon of water which is about 3.7 liters of water and spray your okra plants once a week or once in two weeks and they'll get rid of that problem i made a separate video on how to get rid of aphids so check that out if you're interested now a couple of honorable mentions and lily is actually always trying to help me so actually trying to get stuff from me so what you want to do is to open up the plant to receive more sunlight. You can prune some of the leaves that are growing inside of this plant. And you can also prune the leaves that are at the bottom of the plant as well to reduce uh, disease and pest pressure. And that opens up the plant and the plant receives a lot more sunlight and produces a lot more okra. Well, look at all of this. Look at all of this okra. And this is the end of the season. And that's when I'm making this video. So I can show you how big the plants grow and how to grow these plants. So even though it's fall, the new flowers are still emerging and they're still producing more and more okra. So you can keep enjoying okra all summer long and all the way up until first frost, which in California where we are is going to be in the end of November or beginning of December. One last thing, you can always save the seeds from okra plants. All of the okra that's past its prime, you can save a couple of those okras on the plant or four to five if you like and let them go to seed. If you let your okra mature, they will produce seeds and they produce a lot of seeds. To mix seed, you can just leave a couple of okra right on the plant and they will turn woody, they will turn brown and they will have a lot of seeds. Check out all of these okra seeds. Now you can save all of these seeds to plant next year. So be careful when extracting these seeds because they do drop out. Well, here are some of the okra seeds that I'm going to be saving to plant next year. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you loved watching Lily as well. And I hope you learned how to grow lots of okra and I'll see you in another video.